بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ دا نیکسٹ کیس دا سیکنڈ کیس ان دا پی انجنشن ڈائیوڈ وچ از دا فارورڈ باسٹ کنڈیشن فارورڈ باسنگ ناؤ ایم سوری اف دا پریویس ویڈیو ہیز گون ا لٹل لانگر بٹ ہیئر واز فل اف ایکسپلینیشن آئی 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 مے ہیو گون ا لٹل سلو بٹ it was good enough i believe right because previously i recorded this video when uh, for the first time it was about 10 to 15 minutes and and and, and today i recorded it was was about half an hour so anyways i'm sorry for that but i i hope it was quite informative forward biasing what is a forward biasing in this we have to expl- uh, we have to apply an external voltage and what would be that external voltage that such it would be applied that the p side would be connected to positive terminal of the battery and the n side would be connected to negative terminal of the battery but we do not connect it directly over here we first have aluminum contacts aluminum or copper or whatever it is but we have some metallic contacts over here so that we reduce the area of contact the point of contact would reduce so the contact resistance should decrease fine so let's connect positive terminal to p side and negative terminal to n side of the bit this is the only thing to understand the rest is the your previous diode we have a depletion region we have a junction we have p side we have n side holes uh, in majority in the p side electrons in majority in the n side electrons in minority in p side holes in minority on n side now have a look what will happen what will happen this positive source over here if you see so the current direction we see the conventional current direction so this would be the current id through the diode in this direction isn't it like this it is have a look what will happen this positive terminal will spray positive charge on this side so will it not repel the holes to move further will it not repel the holes to move further towards the depletion region it will it will which means what will happen over here we will have more holes now let me draw them with a different color so that we we know that these are due to the external applied voltage isn't it like this it is similarly the negative terminal of this side will it not spray negative charges from this side will it not repel these negative charges to move further into the depletion region and get combined it will so i will have more negative charges over here so have a look what happens have i not got a new depletion region i have got a new depletion region which is what which is this one which is this one so which means that now i have a wd dash and the wd dash is less than wd when when your vd is greater than 0 we would consider it like this vd greater than 0 for forward biasing p connected to the positive side and connected to the negative side and of course what would happen to the and we'll study it later so what happened what happened was you understood it this had a positive charge repelled that had negative charge repelled got into the depletion region the width of the depletion region has reduced fine so which means that i could write it over here that the width of the depletion region is inversely proportional to the applied voltage the greater your applied voltage the more would the width of the depletion region reduce fine yes fine we already know from the previous video we already know that the majority charge carriers would move in this direction which means that this is the direction of the majority charge carriers current and similarly the opposite is due to the minority charge carriers 
So which means what can I write over here is that the current through the diode ID is equal to I majority minus I minority which means what that ID or you could say what is equal to I majority is called the, the diffusion current or I minority is called the drift current or it's also called the reverse saturation current the reverse saturation current and let me write it full reverse saturation current and this is only due to the temperature the minority charge carrier are only due to the effect of temperature to the rise of temperature which means the external applied voltage does not have any effect on them so the greater the applied voltage the greater is the majority charge current the greater the diffusion current but the reverse saturation current remains the same isn't it like this it is so let us uh, have some reading because of the positive terminal the holes will be repelled toward the depletion region and similarly negative terminal repel the electron toward the depletion region thus the forward bias potential vd will pressure electrons on n side and holes on p side to recombine with the i near the boundary and reduce the width of the depletion region fine yes and and then what do you have uh, id is i majority diffusion minus i minority reverse saturation but what uh, what is the effect of forward bias on the on the reverse saturation current so i've already told you that but let's say we write it so uh, a forward bias on reverse saturation current has no effect has no effect why because the reverse saturation current is due to the minority carriers and the minority carriers are only due to the temperature rise and if the temperature is the same the reverse saturation current is the same right so let me write down rise of temperature is directly proportional to the number of minority carriers and the, 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 the reverse saturation current is the minority charge carriers. All right. Next. But there is charge in diffusion current. The depletion layer reduces. Electrons inside see a reduced depletion layer and attract to the applied potential. So, have a look. What do you have? Now, these holes have a reduced layer to go to the other side similarly the electron so we talk about the majority charge carriers so which means the forward bias condition will increase the current due to the majority charge carrier that is the diffusion current fine barrier potential is also reducing in in the in the what in this condition so barrier potential has reduced why because the width of the external field has reduced over here we had the external field was from here till here now the the the, the electric field is from here to here so which means the the barrier potential that these holes or these electrons are seeing that has reduced so the barrier potential has reduced The width of depletion region has also reduced and the barrier potential has also reduced. Let's say if I have Vb dash is my new width, is my new barrier potential. So this is equal to Vb minus Vd. Vb is the old uh, barrier potential, which means under no bias condition. And Vd is your applied voltage. Vd is your applied voltage. Okay once the barrier potential is zero the flow of electrons the flood of electrons will pass through the junction and the current will rise exponentially when this vb is equal to zero this thing which means the diode potential becomes equal to the no bias barrier potential so when barrier potential is zero if barrier potential is zero what happens is flood of electrons passes and and what happens current rises exponentially
is that fine so this we will not see over here we'll see it in the volt ampere characteristics of the diode that when this condition happens we have an exponential rise in the current for now this much is enough that when you apply the positive to the p side negative to the n side this is called forward biasing what happens is the width of the depletion region reduces so which means now you have a lesser barrier potential as well so which means more majority charge carrier will move which means that you have a, 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 an increase in the diffusion current with the majority carrier whereas what is the effect of the forward biasing on the on the minority charge carriers or the or the reverse saturation current so there is no effect why because the minority charge carriers are only due to the rise of temperature and the temperature is remaining constant in this case so which means there is no effect on minority charge carriers hence no effect on the reverse saturation current if i write down only the formulas just we write down the formulas so id is equal to is times and then we'll see it but uh, do you want me to write the formula if the book has written so I will write it down and yes the book has written so let me write it down ID the current through the diode is equal to IS times exponential of uh, VD upon eta VT or NVT so let me confirm and you have a minus 1 and, and let me tell you what are these so IS is the reverse saturation current you know this right IS is the reverse saturation current I, I showed it over here by something else but let me write it IS is the reverse saturation current then you have VD is the applied voltage of course you know this very well and then you have N is the ideality factor let me come to that and VT you know is the thermal voltage from the previous video VT is the thermal voltage from the previous video you know KT upon E this you know from the previous video where K is the Boltzmann constant T is in temperature Q is the magnitude of charge you know this very well but what is this N? N is the ideality factor we call it what? we call it as the ideality factor This N is the ideality factor. This is a function of what? Of the operating conditions and which is a function of the operating conditions and the physical construction. So which means this is something, this has something to do with the manufacturer. They, they will provide you the values for this. Why? Because this is a function of the operating conditions and the physical construction. Alright, so the range is of course given, the range is between 1 and 2. The range is uh, between 1 and 2, so if it's not given, so you have to consider it 1 to 2 is the range, but uh, by the way, the, the values I have written over here somewhere, I believe, uh, wait, I have the values somewhere. So this is 1 for germanium and it's 2 for silicon for low current. This N is equal to 1 for germanium and it's 2 for silicon for low currents for low ID and similarly it's for high ID it's 1 for both of them for high ID n is equal to 1 for both and if it's not given as well, if you don't know about the range of currents also, and, and this N is also not given, so you have to consider it as 1. Fine. So I believe I finished this video over here. I believe I finished this video over here. See you in the next one with what? With the reverse biasing, which is the last case. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Do remember me in your pairs. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.